All right, guys. So I am pre-recording this for you guys because next week I won't be here. Now, a lot of you guys, uh, if you watch the podcast, you know that I, uh, I announced that I wasn't going to be here next week. And uh, I didn't want to leave you guys high and dry because this game is way too much fun to just kind of, you know, sit on and let it go. So what we're going to do is my goal today is I want that damn camel. And then we need to go explore a little bit more. But our camel is our primary goal. So we want the camel. All right. So let's go ahead. We're going to jump right on into this. We're going to load our game where we were. Oh, and by the way, we ended our last game. And I completely forgot to shut it down after we saved. I came back and I was dead. So I guess technically speaking, I've died once on this game. And it was just because we walked away from it. So that's okay. But, oh, by the way, guys, for those who are my uh, uh, Pepperball Gun fans, we will have another one, a big one. The next Pepperball video is going to be huge, guys. So you're not going to want to miss it. All right. So here we are back in our shelter. And we got everything built up. There we go. Everything is built up and ready to go. We are saved at this point. Do we have any more meat on the far? Nope, but we've got lots of frog legs. Let's go ahead and get full. And then we're going to come out here. And I'd like to find our camel. So, I'm going to drink us some water. Get all drunk up. All right, now we are good to go. All right, so let's search for our camel here, guys. Um... When we got here, we ran him over this peak right here. Now, I don't know if these things wander or if they stay in the area like those little kudus do. So let's just crest a couple here, hills here, and we'll take a look around and see what there is to see. And I'm pretty sure... Actually, you know what, guys? I want to... Um, before we do that, let's build that um, we're going to build the um, turret. That way we have an actual marker on the map to see where we're at. So hang on just one second here. And let's see what we're going to have to have to build that turret. All right, we need uh, five more logs and some cordage. So I think we are pretty much short on all of that. Yes, we are. So we need some logs and some cordage. So let's get that done first. I don't want to take a risk here um, and go running out, you know, with everything not quite done. So we're going to do that real quick here. And by the way, guys, when this video goes live, and I'm going to probably set it to go live on Monday night, um, don't forget to watch the podcast. Even though I won't be there, Paul will be doing it. I don't know if he's going to have a co-host or not. So I guess we're going to find out. I'll find out when you do, apparently. But anyway, right, when this video goes live, um, I will be checking all of the uh, um, messages and stuff when I get back. Uh, I'm actually going on vacation. For those of you who know me, that doesn't happen very often, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. But all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to chop this thing down here. Chop, 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 chop. There we go. And yeah, I still haven't figured out the magic. See how that gave us eight? I cannot, or six rather, I cannot figure out why some trees that are bigger give you less than tree. You know what? I wonder if I cut this this direction, if I can push those fronds out of the water. I've had this problem too, where the fronds just kind of go into the water like that. Yeah. All right. So we got that. Let's get us a few more logs because we've got to make our turret. And the other thing I haven't been able to verify, guys, although I have heard rumors, is that... Um, the oasis I um, respawn if you stay a night in another area. So I have not confirmed that yet, but I hope that's the case because otherwise I am seriously chopping down my home here. All right. And I hate to do that, but you know, you got to have supplies if you're going to survive. Oh, I hate chopping them. Ah, well, we got to do it. Although I think all we get out of this is sticks and stems, but yeah, that's what I thought. Sticks and stems. That's all right. And that pretty much clears out our oasis. All right. So I didn't really want to do that, guys, but do we have enough now to craft the turret? Yes, we will just need some cordage, and we can definitely do that. So let's get back over here. 
And just to save the temperature, we'll go ahead and craft it in here. We need four cordage. And do we have enough? We do not. We'll have to drop ourselves a couple of fronds, which we can do. Drop, drop. There we go. And we need to drop our fronds up here. All right, pick up the stem, pick up the stem, drop the frog. Now, somebody had mentioned in the last one also that we will be able to craft our houses out of bricks. And I am definitely down for that. There was a lot of clay that we lost when our, um, well, actually, we still have quite a bit of it here, when we lost our chest, but that's okay. And I think, by the way, guys, the reason we lost the chest is because we didn't have the, the roof on, so the house wasn't technically complete. Therefore, as far as the game was concerned, it was just sitting out in the open. Yeah, we don't want that. All right, so let's check our map. All right, and what we're going to do is let's place our, let's craft our marker. Not a marker. Craft our turret. And we'll place our turret and see what it looks like on the map. Hopefully... It'll at least give us some kind of bearing on where the heck we are. Now, we may have to craft a marker too, guys. Um, because we need one more cordage for that. So we'll have to drop that. Because even if we drop a turret, unless it has an arrow, we're not going to know what direction it's facing. So let's do that just in case. All right, we're going to craft the cordage. Uh, here's our turret. Ooh, that's kind of cool looking. Uh, I just don't know what direction that's pointing. You know what, that is kind of like an arrow though, isn't it? All right, I tell you what, let's um, let's craft our marker and put the marker down first and then at least we know what what direction we're pointing. I still think our camel's over that hump over there. So we might actually go over there and look, so maybe. All right, so let's take our marker and let's put the marker in the area. Let's point it where we think our camel is, so right there. All right, so that point, yeah, see? That point's northwest, so... If we want to, let's put our, now we'll go ahead and put our turret down. And we will aim it the same direction that the marker is so we know what northwest is. There we go. We're going to put it right. And we'll put it right there. All right, so now we got our marker. Now let's check our map. Oh, look there, guys. It puts a flag. I like that. Okay, so we're going to put an oasis right there. So we have an oasis now. All right, guys, so we are ready. Let's go ahead and get full on water. And I don't know, did we make any balm? Oh, we have a balm. Let's definitely balm up. Let's go ahead and since we're here, let's get full on meat. There we go. That's good enough. I don't want to waste it. And then let's go find our camel. We're going to head northwest. The way this is pointing. So I think that the camel now that we've got mangoes and coconut surely it eats one of those things so we're going to find out now going northwest we should also see our pyramid because i think it's kind of in the middle of this big area that we're circling at least that's kind of the, the idea that i get we'll find out here all right we're gonna go we ought to head for that peak that's a big peak all right let's do that Alternatively, guys, I'd also like to find another oasis to build on. Um, and I think we need to find a nice centralized base of operation that's got a lot of uh, a lot of surrounding clearance and area, but a whole bunch of resources. We definitely want um, we want a bunch of uh, food. Uh, I want a whole bunch of trees, especially since we don't know if they respawn. Right, I don't see our camel yet, guys. You guys see a camel? All right, so let's crest this peak over here. Oh, there's our pyramid. I see it in the distance up there. Now, we're a little off our northwest track now. We're a little more to the west. So let's see what we get when we get up here. Now, we have got to find a better way to travel. This is so desolate out here. Okay, there's our pyramid. All right, I don't see anything out here, guys. Oh, my God, nothing. All right, you know what? Let's, uh... God, I don't want to go over there yet because we're not ready. I need more items because I, I need to be able to craft a shelter. And I know we are, like, very low on, um, on logs. 
Is there an auto run feature? Oh, that's a screenshot. Yeah, that's probably not good. All right. As long as we keep our pyramid in view, at least we'll know we're going to be making a circle around it. So we'll see what we get here. And for those who are wondering where we're going, I am actually going on a cruise just to get out of Dodge for a while. You know, when you've been in this business for long enough, one thing that you learn... Ooh, what is... That's the entrance to the pyramid. Okay, we don't want to do that yet. We really don't, guys. We want to be... I want to be ready for this because I have no idea what's in there, but I'm sure it's going to eat my face. What is that? You guys see that out there? It's huge. All right, we got to find an oasis. So let's... Stay focused on what we're doing. And, oh, okay. There, I was going to say we're missing something off our hot bar. We are indeed. If we had run away without water, that could have been catastrophic. All right. Let's go over here and see what's on this side. Guys, that is really big. If that is an oasis, it's the biggest one we've run across so far. But if it's not an oasis, we might be hurting units by the time we get out there. All right, we're going to go check it out. That looks like a tree poking up, right? I mean, that, that kind of does. All right, we're going to try it. Holy cow. Well, I'm convinced now, after seeing that map, that we definitely need to put down the turrets. And then probably a marker as well to show what direction. Use the turrets to aim it, because once the sandstorms come through and blow the marker down... The turret is going to be our only way to point what direction our next uh, our next area is. So, all right, so we're going to run over here. Yeah, that's that. That looks like an oasis. Got to get our stammy back. Oh man, we are losing water. Come on, drink up, buddy. Thank goodness we had the desert balm. If we didn't have the balm, we would probably be roasting right about now. All right, crest in the hill. Oh, man, I don't know what this is, guys. This could either be really good or really bad. I want to hope for really good, so let's stay positive here. We're going to know as soon as we get over this little desert berm here. Golly, this is desolate, guys. I'm really enjoying this game, by the way. I didn't, you know... These are relatively new to me. I mean, I, I, I played some survival games before, and they all have a, a, a couple of things that are the same. Oh, that is not. What is that? Oh, man, guys. Well, we're going to have to go look at it because we're here. But... Yeah, without water, this could be a challenge. We're going to have to... As soon as we leave here, we're going to go that direction. We're going to keep circling the pyramid. And hopefully we'll find another source of water. Otherwise, we're going to be some thirsty puppies here shortly. All right, I'm going to get ready here. Y'all know the deal. And I don't think we've been to this one yet. Up, oh, scorpion. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I didn't hear. Anybody here hear a, uh, do I have time? Oh, no, I don't have the stuff. Oh, I am screwed, guys. We are screwed beyond screwed. Oh, my God. Another friggin' sandworm. We can't get up there. Uh, can we get up here? Is this high enough to stay away from it? Where's our bow? All right. Where is it? Where is the thing? It already took a chunk out of us, so let's hope we can get him to come out. I cannot believe another sandworm just came out, guys. Oh, my gosh. Where is it? Oh, great. He's not going to come out until we hit that sand, and if we hit that... Oh, there he is. Got him. Got him once. Got him twice. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So we learned he cannot climb on the big rocks. That's a very good to know. Ooh, that's gross. Is that a head? All right. We get all our arrows back, guys. That was, we just got jackpot lucky, guys, because that should have been our death. Holy cow. We need to remember that. All right, let's get in here and search this stuff out. Oh, I cannot believe we just survived that. All right, what do we got here? We got a broken chest. Crouch down. Yeah, that's fine. Crouch down. How do you crouch? Not that. How do you crouch? Oh, okay. There we go. Ooh, what is this? Now, this, guys, looks like a new area that we haven't seen before. Uh... 
up this chest. Open that up. Got another steel ingot and another axe. Got to axe me that twice, I'll tell you. All right, let's see here. Anything else in here? Nothing else in here? That's it? We came all the way over here and risked our life with a worm to get an axe? Uh, oh, there's a chest. Let's see what's in this one. Arrows. Good. Good. Another steel ingot. And what is that? That is clay bricks. All right. Now, I suspect we're going to need those clay bricks, guys, because we are going to construct a better shelter. That is a well. Ooh, R to examine. Oh, what is this? We can craft a water well now? What? Where is it? Placeable. Clay bricks, wooden planks, and cordage. So we got to get more clay bricks. But we can put a... Now, that is a big deal, guys. That's going to give us a lot of other options. All right, well, there's nothing else here. We've got to find an oasis, guys, or we're going to die. Look at our water level. We're going to drink two more. That leaves us one more sip. God help us if we find a worm out here in the middle of the desert. And uh, where'd that thing come from? You guys heard there were no... Um, there wasn't any kind of an earthquake or anything. Where'd that come from? All right. Crest in the hill over here. Oh, man. There, there's got to be an oasis or we are in serious trouble. I like the fact that we can build a well. Now, I wonder if that means we can just build it anywhere we want. If that's the case, we can technically turn pretty much anything into an oasis. So, I mean, obviously you won't get trees and stuff, but you would get animals, I would think. All right. Crest in this hill. Oh, man, this is bad, guys. This is really, really bad. And I'm out of stamina. All right, here's what we're going to do. Our pyramid is going to be right over there. We're going to head over this direction and try to hit that little peak right there. And cross our fingers that there's something there or we are in a lot of trouble. Uh, thank God we have the balm. Look at the temperature. And that's with the balm. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. I'm glad we saved. Let's put it that way. One more drink. All right, that's all we're going to get. Okay, there's our pyramid. So we're going to go this direction and hope that we can find some sort of oasis or something that resembles an oasis. Now, from where that pyramid is, our first shelter is over there. Um, we might be able to make it back to it if, I mean, it would be tight. Let's go ahead and eat up. I hate to do that because I have a feeling that's going to uh, dehydrate you further. But... Oh, and the balm just wore off, guys. Well, the good news is, for some reason, the temperature appears to be going down. I don't think we're close to nighttime, but I'm going to take it, whatever you guys want to give me. And on that note, guys, by the way, um, I had a couple of people after the show that actually sent donations in. Thank you guys so much for doing that. You don't have to. Um, I just love playing this for you, and I very much enjoy the game, and I love talking to all of you. I'm sorry I won't get to on this one. But we'll be back live the following week, so you don't have to worry about that. You will hear me again. All right, that is a cut in the mountains there. I definitely want to go in there, but I need more resources. I need more water. We have got to craft a canteen, and we really, really need a camel. I mean, I wouldn't feel bad about running out here if we had enough resources to build, A, a platform in case those damn worms come. Uh, carried about twice as much water. That's huge. And, God, I want to explore that thing, but I just, I, I need an oasis. We need an oasis, guys. Like, really, really, really bad. We need an oasis. This game's so dry, it's making me thirsty. Oh, this is looking bad. This is looking really bad. At this rate, the, uh, the sand will, or worms won't have to kill us. They'll just be able to pick us up off the ground. Come on, Oasis. We need an Oasis. There's got to be one out here. Oh, this is really bad, guys. And I just don't, I don't have the, anything, any of the resources necessary to go up in that mountain there. 
Oh, we're thirsty. Oh, this is going to suck, guys. Oh, and when you're thirsty, you can only walk. Oh, we're screwed. Oh, we are totally screwed. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing a death in our immediate future. This is not good. Oh, no. Come on, give me an oasis. Something, some sign of an oasis out here. It's just more desert. Oh, guys, if we die out here, we're going to have to... Well, oh, shoot, if we die out here, we're going to lose that... Um, that thing that we found, the the recipe for the well. And I can't save. If I save, we'll be saving at this state. Oh, please let there be an oasis over here. I'll start losing health here in a minute, guys. You see there's still a little tiny blue sliver at the top of the water. But when that's gone, I'm going to start losing life. And I got nothing. I, I, all my coconuts are cracked. I can't drink. The, I probably should have kept those guys. That's what I should have done. I don't know why I didn't do that. Kept the coconuts whole until we had to crack them. Oh, yeah. There goes the life. All right, come on. We need an oasis. Come on, 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 come on. Anything. Give us a freaking oasis. Uh, we're going to make it to about that next hill, and we're going to start dropping life so fast it isn't going to be funny. We got no sun bomb. We got no drink I, I knock on wood I'm glad the temperature is not going up any higher but I can't run right now because when you've got no water oh uh, we're taking damage big time guys oh this is not going to end well this is not going to end well oh it seems like I'm walking slower too god I hope not that would be horrible all right, what do we got? Come on. I'm looking, guys. I'm looking. There's nothing down there. It's got to be over here. I know, dude. I know. I'm thirsty. I know. Let's crest this hill right here, and hopefully we'll see something. Oh, man. We are so dead. I knew it. You know, it's funny. I kept thinking to myself, we needed some more of those... Uh, skin so we could make a couple more uh, canteens or at least make I think you gotta carry at least two or three water bottles full especially if you're gonna venture out like this but you see I jinxed myself I said earlier that I hadn't died yet we're gonna die now oh yeah we're gonna die oh we are gonna die oh give me an oasis and even if I do I gotta get to it uh, ah oasis oasis water water Sweet, fresh, clean, cool, full of animal crap water. Oh, can we make it? That was a stroke of freaking luck, guys. If we had crested this hill, uh, well, I say that, we haven't made it yet. If we had crested that hill, guys, though, and there had not been any water, or nothing, no oasis, we would have died for sure. That's a nice one, too. Yeah, let's just hope this isn't full of jackals. I don't have the energy to be shooting jackals right now. Oh, man. Come on. How about a camel? That'd be nice to have. Give me a camel. We're going to get to this oasis, and we're going to drink up. We're going to eat up. We're going to build a base right there, because that is a very good position. Because the pyramid is right there. That means we'll have two oases that are right off of an angle of that pyramid. I like that. Come on. We're about to take another hit. Uh, by the way, guys, those sandworms are... Those things are pretty creepy, dude. About every time you think you've got it, they just show up out of the blue. And I thought they were were cued to the earthquakes, but apparently they're not. Oh, uh, God, if we found one now, we might as well just hang it up. I should probably quit jinxing myself, huh? Uh, we're walking slower. Look how slow we're walking. I can't run. Yeah, you can, yeah, I can almost hear him. Water. Water. And then we get over here to be in a mirage. <laughs> Come on. We have not died on this game yet. I do not intend to start now. Come on. Ah, look at our life, guys. Every time it gets thirsty, it dives again. 
Oh, that's a good oasis, guys. I see deposits. I see water. I see a ton of different kinds of trees. I don't see animal life yet. That is a little disconcerting, but we've got a lot of food, so that shouldn't be a big problem. And we can chop. And this time I'll keep coconuts in case we have to drink again. But, um, oh, we're going to make it. Oh, we're going to make it, but not by much, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, guys, this is nice. I like this area. But I would wish there were a few more animals out here. There are none. Dive in the water. Oh, yeah. Drink it. Drink it up. Ah, there's our stamina back. All right. This is deep water, too. Oh, here, frog. I heard it. Where is he? Oh, froggy. It is I, your death. Huh. Yeah, you thought you were getting away. Uh-huh. You thought you were, but you are not. Oh, we got to drop some stuff. You know what? I don't care about the bug head right now. Let's, uh... Oh, my God. That thing's creepy, guys. Look at that thing. That looks like something out of Predator. <laughs> nice. Ooh, what do we got here? Pineapple. Pineapple. Uh-oh, froggy. Okay, I didn't even see that. If I hit him, I'll be amazed. No, I did not. Where'd he go? I hear him. I don't see him, though. All right. Let's get back to base building here, guys. We are going to have to build us a base. I am going to try to preserve the fruit trees, although I, I still don't know if this responds once you leave. And, of course, the only way we're going to find that out is once we uh, go back to one of the bases we've already built. But we've got to get some supplies together. We are not having it run that close again. There are no animals out here, guys. None at all. And yeah, I know I have no desert, but it looks like the temperature is, the sun is going down. So I'm not sure how smart that was. Well, actually, it was pretty smart because if you travel at night, you can drink water and get in shade. But if you're freezing, we have to have clothes. So I'm going to have to try to make some clothes. All right, inventory is full. We want everything we got here. Uh, yeah, I think we kind of do. All right, let's, um, let's start building our little house here. I like how this forms a nice little natural circle. That means if those worms come, now, can I build in it? That's the real question. And the answer is yes, I can. All right, so we need to craft us some wooden planks. Now, do I have any in my inventory? I do not. So we're going to throw down a meat. We're going to craft. We're going to craft us some wooden planks. And we're going to need quite a few of these, so let's craft uh, 12 of them. Yeah, we'll craft 15. Hell with it. We can always get more logs. Speaking of which, while those are crafting, that's a date palm. Uh, what do we got here? That's mango. or banana. Oh, bananas. Yummy. Dates. And dates. Oh, frog. Frog, where is he? Where are you at, frog? I heard you. I heard you. Where are you? All right. Well, we got our plank, so let's go ahead and let's start crafting our house, shall we? Do it right here in this little alcove. I like this little alcove. This is really nice. All right, we'll start you right here. This will be a good place. Yeah, we'll put another one here. Put another one here. And put another one here. Got to make some more planks. See, I told you you need a lot of planks. Oh, they're still crafting. Okay. Need one more wooden plank. Come on, wooden plank. There it is. Oh, I need oh, I need another log. Never mind. I know what I said. I wasn't going to cut down certain things, but doggone it, I'm going to anyway. All right, sticks and stones. Okay, inventory is full again, so we're going to have to cut this down, guys. I don't want to, but yeah, yeah, I know. What if I eat this real quick? There we go. That was a yummy pineapple. Mmm, I love me some pineapple. Now, will this give us four or six? How generous is it going to be? Going to give us six. That's good. If all of them gave us six, things would be better. Don't roll into the freaking water. Come on. God, always run into the water. Okay. All right. So back over here where we were. Let's get our other... Uh, 
uh, foundation. That looks good. Let's get some walls up if we've got enough stuff. We might not. Uh, I like my windows. And what we're going to do, so we need two, man, we need logs like crazy, guys. Get some bananas. And inventory is full. Okay. Let's go ahead. How are we? Do we actually have a log? Yeah, we do. Okay, so that means we can get 29 more, so that's good. All right, so let's go ahead and get this going. Um, we're going to need to get a fire, but we've got plenty of stones for that. And I'd like to get this shelter built and more or less ready to go because we almost died, and I don't want to repeat that. So how come I can't get to... Uh... Oh, yeah, get the logs. I don't want the dates. Go away, dates. There we go. And can I get the log? Can I get the log? Can I let me get the log, or I got to get the dates. Oh, man. All right, down with the claw. Let's get the dates. We'll eat the dates here in a minute. There we go. And let's get the dates. All right. Ooh, check out that sky, guys. That's really pretty. Oh, that's actually a really pretty game. All right. Over here. And I don't... I still haven't seen any wildlife around this place. That kind of sucks. But that's all right. That is to be expected when you are living the hardcore desert life. That's right. Oh. Looks like I gave us four on that one again. Give us some more fronds because we're going to need those for the walls. And let's cut this one down. And we should That should be enough to get us going. Yeah, I, I, you got to have the resources. When you go out on these runs... You, you need to at least be able to build a shelter. That's the biggest thing. Because the uh, when you get out there and you have nothing, you can't save. I'm glad that we have the well thing, although I still don't know if you can just build it anywhere or if it has to be on like a some sort of a surface somewhere. I don't know. We're going to have to find that out. Get rid of the yucky plant. Yucky. All right. All right, so let's go back over here and let's finish up our little house. There we go. Get our crafting on. Bam. Bam. Uh, we're going to have to cut down that tree. Can we get the bananas yet? No, but when I cut down the tree, they'll fall. So let's cut down the tree. I hate to do that, guys, but once again, I think if we do it and it regrows, it might regrow in the house, which would be kind of cool. All right, get the log. Get the log. Get the log. Thank you. All right, back to our crafting. There we go. And we want to craft our wall. I am going to leave this area open right here so that if we get a worm, we can build a deck. So from right here, we're going to... All right, let's build us a doorway here. bam -o. I'd like to build one more deck right here if we've got the room. We don't have the stuff, do we? Let's see. Is it going to let us build a deck out here? Uh, it's not going to let us. Ah! Yeah, we can build it over there. So we'll switch the walls. That's what we'll do. So let's go ahead. We're going to break down this wall. And recover it. Break down this wall. And we're going to craft again. And, yeah, I just... I, I kind of like having the open area... Whoa, what did I do here? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. And we want to build our doorway here. There we go. I like that much better. All right, let's get ourselves a door. And we need logs and cordage. Now, we need to build the roof, which is all planks, I believe. Let's see. Make sure of that. Let's see. There's our roof. Yeah, it's all planks. That's what I thought. Okay. And we need three more planks. So we're going to need some more logs. No way around. No, we have logs. I need to craft some planks. That's the problem. Uh, craft us a few more planks. Let's go six. Oh, wait a minute. It says we don't... Oh, wait. What? It said we had some. Oh, we have no logs. we got to get some logs. Okay. Well, we're going to have to get some logs, guys. So let's chop a few more trees before it starts to get too cold out here. Oh, that's a no-no. Don't do that at night. Yeah, I know. I won't do that again, I promise. All right. 
So we're going to have to get some more logs. We need to get us a campfire going, get our roof on, get us a shelter built because we'll have a nice new area and hopefully have enough resources to get our next marker up. And we want to go with a turret, guys, because it's so much better. All right. Plenty of... Oh, what the hell? That was weird. I popped out of nowhere. And strangely enough, I also have not heard any more froggies. Oh, down goes the axe. Fortunately, we found an axe. See? That always happens when you least need it to, so... Always better to have a spare. Get those dates. Okay, who knows, man? Camels might eat dates, too. All right. So we have established... Now, um, one of our viewers in the last one had pointed out that he had only seen one worm in 60 hours. Oh, I hear him. Where's he at? Ooh, it's cold. All right, chop this tree down. Let's get a fire going. This could get bad. And I think I can burn the sticks. There are so many sticks here that I don't think I'm going to need to waste a log, but we'll find out. We will find out. All right. There we go. And we'll chop the fronds since we're here. And then we're going to go get our campfire going, get us some water, get all rested up. There we go. And then we'll come back out here. Because I, I like... See our little build? Oh, look at that. Look at that view. Oh, where are you? Where are you, frog? I hear you. Ah, uh, yeah, I heard that. Where you at, frog? Oh, we lost life. That's not good. Okay. Let's get back in here. Craft us a couple more wooden planks. And then we will craft us a campfire. Inventory is full. Well, of course it's full. Uh, what are we going to throw down? What are we going to throw down? Oh, we have doubled up on our day. Oh, so it doesn't auto stack, guys. That's a pretty big deal. You got to watch your stacks. Look at that. That is something to know. All right, so we're going to craft ourselves. At, and while that's crafting, let's get our roof on. There we go. And we need to get our door because we didn't have enough for a door last time. And we need some cordage. I'm pretty sure... Oh, I thought we had some stems. I guess we did not. Alright, so we need to drop some fronds. Drop, drop. Get down here, chop up the fronds, and make us some cordage. Um, and we gotta get that fire going. We are losing life. Uh, we are thirsty. We need to take care of that too. Hold on a minute. Get us a couple of cordages going. Craft. Uh... Did we get our fire pit? Where's our fire pit? There it is right there. Let's go ahead and get that put down. Right there. And then let's throw some logs on the fire. There we go. That'll warm us up. Now we need to go get a drink real quick. There we go. Get those. Let's get us a drink right out our little back door here. All this good work. You think I couldn't figure out how to put in some indoor plumbing? Sheehy. I'd have a condo by the time we're done. Heck, we still might. I don't know. All right, so we got our fire there. Now, while that's... and do, Yes, we will refill our thing, too. Okay, so we have plenty for that. We're going to need a lot more logs. Well, some of them are in the fire, so we'll deal with that in a minute. All right. We are doing really good, guys. This is looking sharp. So, it looks like our sticks... We have 40 of them right now. So... Our stack size is larger on the sticks than on anything else. We got a lot of leather. Is there anything we can craft with that leather? Let's see. So we've got... You know what? We do need to craft a torch, guys, because we can then build an indoor torch here for the house. So let's do that real quick. We need one log off the fire. Actually, we'll split all of them but two. That's a good idea. There's 14... Yeah, there we go. Right, let's craft us up a torch. Oh, yeah, torch. There we go. And then once that's done, we'll build a wall torch for right here. That'll give us a lot of good light in the house here. Because you know what they say, man. you got to have good lighting in your house. There we go. And let's craft. 
And I believe it was right there. Let's put you right... Get on the wall. Alright. Now this is coming together. Let's eat us some more of that there kudu. Or that hyena. Whatever it is, it's gross. Alright. Got that. So we got our fire... Our health is going to start coming back now that we've eaten and we're getting warm again. So we probably ought to go ahead and build a bed. But once again, we're going to need more. Oh, only cordage. Nice. We can do the cordage. All right. Crafting more cordage. How many can we make? We can make one. So then we do, do that. We need to drop a frond. There we go. Yeah, this game is uh, a lot of micromanagement. That's for sure. All right, and chop the frond. Chop the frond. The... All right, a couple more sticks. Craft us one more cordage. Then we're going to throw us a bed down. There we go. Craft the bed. All right. Man, it looks like our, our thingy's out of wood. Yeah, we'll put some more logs on there. we got more trees out there, guys. So, you know, we're going to be able to get some more wood in the morning. Um, not a lot. This is not a huge oasis, but it is a uh, a pretty well guarded little oasis. So, All right. bed is almost done. All right, so we'll get the bed in place, and we'll save the game. That's obviously critical. We we've, we've made this mistake before. We're not going to make it again. We almost died. All right, and I like the caddy corner. I think that's really pretty like that. All right, so let's save our game, and we're not going to sleep yet. Let's get a little warmer, and I think I might actually go out and get some more wood. That's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Starting with you. Yeah, chop the tree down. Chop the tree down. And then tomorrow, we're going to put up our marker. Hopefully, we'll have enough to put up our, uh, our real good um, turret. If it keeps giving me wood like that, we're going to be fine. All right, chop the fronds. There we go. Pick them all up. There we go. Well, those fronds go everywhere. All right, we are not going to go... Oh, I heard you, Froggy. Where you at? I don't think I didn't hear you. I heard you. Where are you? Over here? Where is he? All right, well, we'll come back to him. He ain't going to get away. I hear him. I can't see him, though, guys. Yeah, yeah, it's cold. Put your wine in. So, stone, definitely going to pick that up. Yeah, guys, there are not many stones. Whenever you see stones, pick up the stones. Because you need those for a lot of the stuff that, uh, for your self-protection, particularly your bows and your axe, well, all your tools. you got to have the stones. So whenever you see stones, they're almost the most important part of this game. All right, chop this down. So we're getting some more logs here, guys. We're doing good. I just want to be able to, when tomorrow morning rolls around, have what we need to bounce out of here and get all we need. Ooh, pineapple. I got room for it? I guess I did. Nice. All right. I had somebody ask me in the last one, why don't I cut down the, uh, the pineapple plants? Well, it's going to give you sticks and stems, which you can get off pretty much anything. And more to the, more to the point, it gives you pineapple. That freaking frog is driving. Oh, there he is. Oh, I got you now, buddy. All right. Let's see here. There we go. Oh, we got away. Where'd you go? That frog, I swear. Oh, check it out. We're outside of our house, guys. But since we're by the fire, we're actually getting the heat. That's kind of nice. All right. So we're going to run across here. And we're going to continue our chop-chop spree. Oh, that's froggy. Oh, you ain't getting away now, buddy. Hey, that was a terrible shot. Oh, you ain't getting away, frog. There's nowhere for your little butt to run. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There's nowhere for you to run. All right, we're going to cook up that frog legs. Y'all know how I like me some frog legs. All right, let's go back over here and keep on chopping. So, I think we need to figure out where we want to build this kiln. 
And because we got all these, the clay ore now. And I really like to build a, uh, the kiln so I can start building the concrete foundations and walls. Because I think that's going to be a lot more efficient than going through these uh, trees like this. Inventory is full. Imagine that. Okay. And I'm not going to waste money right now building. Oh, you see it? You see it, guys? There it is. Every single time you open a rock, you run a risk of having one of those stupid scorpions. So be careful with that. And the problem is you need the rocks, remember? <laughs> All right. So we have... Man, there are a lot of rocks here. I like this. Man, lots of rocks. Lots and lots and lots of rocks. Between the rocks and the sticks, I think we are going to be doing just fine. Now, I'm seeing this storm blow up. I'm hoping that that has nothing to do with... Uh, Oh, another frog. Where you at, frog? I can't see you. Where'd you go? I know you're running away from it. Yep, there you go. Up into that moonlight, baby. Up into that moonlight. That's right. Got us some more frog legs. All right, let's go cook up some frog legs before I forget. And end up... Oh, another frog. Where you at? Oh, froggy. Did I get him? I did. Oh, Guys, I took that shot off the cuff. I didn't think there was any way I was pulling that off. All right, let's cook us up some frog legs. There we go. Oh, that's the cooked one. Uh, there. And that frees up a little inventory space, too. All right, so I think we're doing okay on logs, and we've got plenty of fronds. I still hate carrying all this miscellaneous crap until we know what we're going to do with it, but I think we're doing fine. What is that? A clay brick. Yeah, I wish I knew how to do it. We're going to have to figure that out. Uh, something else I noticed is there are there's a lot of coal in uh, at the end of the fire. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. I heard you. Where are you at? I don't think you're going to get away. That moon is way too bright. All right. So I don't see him in here anywhere. I do see a stone. Looking good, looking good. Yeah, we got lots of stones now. We should be, we should be good. One other thing I was looking for, guys, is the uh, desert fruit because then I could make myself another um, uh, balm. And boy, it'd be really nice to have a balm. But it looks like we're not gonna get it. So the next run we take in the desert, man, we need a camel. I gotta get that camel. I gotta get the camel. So maybe what we need to do is once we get all built up on this one. We will head, now that we've got our uh, pyramid as our center, we'll put up our little thing so we can see exactly where we are on the map, and then we'll take it from there and see where, which direction to go. And this is the last tree, I think, in this area, so let's hope they respawn. Yep, that's definitely the last one in this area. But I got plenty of fruits and stuff to feed the camel should we run across him. So that's a good thing. Cut up some fronds. Man, look at that. That is gorgeous. The sun coming up over that. Ah, oh, I love it. Love it. All right. Anything else here? Any other resources that we need? Man, these rocks are everywhere. Oh, I'm thirsty. All right. Tell you, you got to watch those stats, man. They'll get you. All right, let's go ahead and while we're here, we'll refill our bottle, too, so I don't forget that. And we should check and see if we've got enough leather to build a canteen. I think we do not. Otherwise, I would have done it by now. Stick. And, yeah, if you're wondering, I am literally just scavenging out here. All right. We've got one more tree out back of our house. I, I really don't want to cut that down because I kind of like it, so... All right, and we can't sleep because it is no longer nighttime. All right, once that campfire burns this next one for us here, we will pull our logs off the wood, off the fire, save the game, and hopefully venture out. That's what we're shooting for. But there it is. All right, all our cooked food is there. We got our logs, which we cannot keep. Damn it. I knew that was going to be a problem. All right, we'll just throw them on the ground here, guys, because we don't want to waste those, leave them on the fire. 
All right, so let's go ahead and eat up and get full. There we go. And let's build our... What do we need for our shelter? We need four cordage. We have enough to build four. No, we do not. We're going to need some stems. Let's throw down some of our palm fronds. You know what? I want to build all of those cordage. I think I'll, be, I'll feel much better about that. We've got a lot of fronds already. Let's just chop through all these. Get a bunch of stems on the ground. There we go. That's what you call a pile of fronds there, buddy. <laughs> this is great. All right. We're going to have a pile of stems when I'm done with this one, that's for sure. Now, we could theoretically stay in this area um, until the next day, but I don't really think I want to do that. This... This oasis, while it's kind of pretty and I like the position, it doesn't have a lot to offer. So we don't really want to take that risk. All right, get all these sticks. And we're going to make a lot of cordage, guys. That is our goal here. In fact, let's drop these last two palm fronds. And chop them up. Because we want a lot of sticks. The sticks are what make the rope. And the rope is really what we are shooting for right now. All right, so let's get up here. What did that say? Did I miss something? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, let's get in the house here, keep our temperature down a little bit. Let's go ahead and craft ourselves a lot of cordage. A lot of cordage. Like, a lot of cordage. Like, all of them. Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and craft up all of the cordage. Why not? That'll be awesome. Alrighty. And once all this cordage is crafted up there, now we can actually make our shelter. We want to make our turret there. Now we can make our turret. So we're going to craft our turret, and we're going to keep letting that stuff go. Once the turret is up, we'll put a marker down. We'll see where we are. And then we are off through the desert again. And hopefully, we won't die. All right, well, let's explore around here a little more to see if there's something we didn't see. Oh, raw meat. Yeah, definitely ought to take that. See if there's any more frogs out here that want to bite it while we're at it. Day six in the bag. All right, now, we need to assume, guys, that we're going to get attacked by those stupid worms. We need to assume it. Therefore, we need to make absolutely certain that we've got enough stuff to build what we need to to build this. And let's verify that real quick. Uh, we need uh, two planks and two logs. So we want to make sure that we're carrying at least two planks and two logs. And see, we're not. That would have been a problem. Great. All right, let's eat the pineapple. And we'll make some more planks. We'll make six planks. We'll make eight. That way we can build a square. Okay. That'll give us enough to build uh, to build a perfect square if we have a... Uh, and, of course, it's going to throw them on the ground. Why would it not? Oh, because it made the turret. Okay. Uh, yeah, about that. All right, fine. Let's throw this on the ground. There we go. There we go. Now, we've got our planks. Let's go put our turret up real quick. We'll put it right on our house. Oh, we got fronds. How'd I do that? Inventory's full. Okay. That's probably why. All right. So, our house is facing the pyramid. Actually, it's behind us. So, let's go ahead. We're going to craft our... We have our turret already. Did I do it already? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Right there. So, let's put our turret down and let's aim him right at the pyramid. Now let's go ahead and we'll craft a marker and we'll do the exact same thing. We're going to aim it at the pyramid and then we'll see where we actually are. Okay, so we did go exactly northwest. That's actually pretty cool. All right, the marker is down. So now that's very interesting. The pyramid is over here. That is really weird, guys. So we must have come from here, gone up around the pyramid, ended up back here again. I'd like to see this area. 
That's what I'd like to search for. Maybe another oasis and a camel. I want a damn camel. All right, so now that we've got this in, get our nanners, because nanners are good. And let's save our game. Let's get full on our water. And then we're going to venture across the desert again. You know, one other thing I ought to probably do... I heard that guy. Yeah, you guys heard him too. One thing I ought to probably do... So we're going to go straight that way. Um, let me see if we can craft that canteen yet. Because that would be... We can't. Oh, we can. All right, that's big. We want to do that for sure. Uh, guys, I'm going to drop our steel ingots. I just don't see a whole lot of need for it right now. Let's craft that canteen. We could actually technically make a couple of them. We don't want to. But what I want to do is I, want, I know the canteen holds about twice as much water. So we're going to craft the canteen, put it in our inventory, and we will alternate between the two of them for water when we drink. I think that's going to be a much better plan. All right, so there's our canteen. We'll put it right there. We'll put you there, put you there, and put you there. Okay, now we're arranged. So let's go over here. Let's fill up our canteen. And there we go. Now we're full. All right, now I'm feeling good, guys. I don't like the heat. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really see a lot of options. Um, we've got our hat, which should keep us a little bit. But there's not much else we can do except for go for it. Uh, our game is saved. One more time. Let's just verify that since we just made a canteen. All right, here we go. We are going to go straight that direction. So we're going to head right for, I guess, right down the center of this thing. There's no, there's no high spot, so I really don't know what we're going to find. So I know this was not smart, guys. I know our temperature is way too high to be venturing out into the desert. But well, we are wearing our hat, so let's hope that'll at least keep us a little bit, uh, a little bit cool. We'll find out. We crest this little hill here. Hopefully, we'll get an idea. We still should have the pyramid right behind us there. See that? So we're kind of heading away from the pyramid and into the open desert. And like I said, hopefully we'll be able to, uh, hopefully we'll be able to find something. Yeah. I you know, here we go, cresting a hill. All right, it's looking pretty desolate so far, but that little peak right there, that is where I'm thinking we're going to find something. So we're going to cross our fingers. And if those worms come, guys, we have got to be Johnny on the spot with our build. So cross your fingers. The good news is also, guys, if we build the base in the middle of the desert, we could put a marker on it, and that's kind of a halfway, you know, uh, save you spot if you get in trouble. So, all right, let's go up on this little dune. I know we're heading for that peak, but let's go up on this little dune here and get a little bit of a look around and hopefully we'll find something. Man, I want a camel. Is it so much to ask for a camel? Give me a camel. All right, aha. So that doesn't look like an oasis. It looks like a building, but let's go over here anyway. And then we'll come out of that building and go back toward our little uh, berm over there that we see, our little hill. What is this? What is it? Well, we're in good shape to search, so... That looks like a nothing. Yay! That's exactly what I was looking for, was a nothing. Alright, well, let's go back over this direction. We we're going to head for that little hill there. So let's stay on target. Letting our stamina come back up here. See, this, guys, I honestly believe is more important than anything else, is keeping enough water to keep that stamina up. Because it takes a long time to die if you run out of water, but you're also walking instead of running. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. Big hill. Hopefully we'll see something up here. And not a worm. Ooh, I see something out there. All right, we're going to keep on going, guys. I know it's hot. Now, when you hit that 40-degree mark, you will see the sweat beating off there. You will start to uh, lose life at a certain point. Any shade solves that. So if I had to, I could theoretically build, you know, one wall, one roof, and sit under it. But I think, man, this is, this is a big run out in the middle of nowhere here. 
Alright, cross your fingers, guys. I have no idea what we're about to see. Let's get to the top of this hill. I know we're heading toward whatever that was. Yeah, we're heading right toward it. Oh, 41 degrees. Man, we're going to have to get us some shade pretty quick here. I think you can get up to four. Oh, look, we already took a damage. Yikes. We need a camel. We need a freaking camel. There's so much to ask for one freaking camel. All right. We're, that, our, our hill's that way. We're going to skirt a little bit this direction. That way we can see what's up on this hill. Maybe find us an oasis side. And if we don't find an oasis, it will not be for lack of effort. That is like a... That's like a temple. Okay, well, we're going to go to that just to get out of the sun here in just a second. But I want to crest this and see what's over here first. One way or the other, we are going to that. Let's drink us some water. All right. Wow. There is a jack here, guys. All right. All right, well, we're going to go check out this temple. I'm not sure how wise this is, but... And then I guess we'll keep going kind of that direction. Oh, come on, stamina. Now, once we get back inside the shade here and the temperature goes down below 40, our health will start going back up. <clears throat> All right, we got to be super careful, guys. I don't know what's in here, but last time. Well, oh, what's that? Oh, is that a forge? What is that? Oh, what is that? Ah, oh, freaking worms. Oh, see, I knew it, guys. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. What did I just tell you? What did I tell you was going to happen? All right, can we build a foundation? Can we build a second foundation? There we go. Third foundation, fourth foundation. Oh, that was way, way, way too close. All right, guys, we got to get him out here. If we don't get him out here and kill him quick, we are going to die. We got to get him out here. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on out. Come on out, sucker. All right, we're going to run out here and see if I can draw him out. Where is he? There he is. All right, we got about four hits on him that time. No, we got about three hits on him that time. We're going to have to get more hits than that. There he is. There he is. Jumping up on our thing. Damn it. Come on. We got to get him to come out so we can hit him, guys. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Ah, we are way too hot, guys. This is not good. This is not good at all. All we need is a couple more hits on him. And he keeps ducking just below it. Come on. Come on, where are you? Ooh, he tried to get between us and our base that time. Oh, we're going to die. Yeah, we don't have a choice here, guys. We're going to have to... What we're going to have to do is stay in the shade long enough for him to come get us. And then we're going to have to run for the base. Like this. Run for the base. Let him follow us. Turn around. Okay, that's the trick. That's the trick. All right, so we get in the shade here. We let him come up. He follows us to the base. He comes up. Then we pop him while he's getting all, all grizzly bear. There we go. All right, running around the corner. Let's get up on it. Oh, whatever. I hit him like five times right in his face. Oh, what is this? Another one? Uh, that better not be another one or we are in trouble. <laughs> uh, yeah, if that's another one, we're in a lot of trouble, guys. Uh, okay, he's dead. I am really worried about that other one. Where's our arrows? Got to get, get my arrows back. Where are all my arrows? There they are. Nothing to loot. Okay, we've got to get... Uh... Yeah, I know, I know, I know. All right, we got to get in the shade here, guys. We've got to. All right, uh, I think we need to just get this stuff as quickly as we can. 
uh, cordage, more arrows, never turn those down, and some cloth. That's a big deal. Don't care about the rest. All right. Uh, we didn't get to look at this, so let's take a look at this. Furnace and a mortar. Ah, you guys were right. Ancient scroll. Hold R to examine. Okay. Head armor, chest armor, light. Okay, so now we can make armors. All right, so we need to drink. We need to eat. Hopefully get our health back up here, guys, because I don't like... Our health being that low is really sketchy, especially if we get more of those worms. We've got to be able to fight them. And to do that, we got to be able to get up on that little base, not to mention the fact that we're still in the middle of the desert. Oh, there he is. What'd I tell you? Come on, boy. I got your number now. Come on. Come on. Come out here with your brother. I'm going to pop you one. Oh, yeah. I got your number now. Come on. Yeah, we know how to tear you up. You know what? I'm going to try to hit him when he first comes up because he comes up and does that grizzly bear thing first. Come on. Come on. Come on, where are you? Let's go. Come on, turkey. Where is he? Ha! There we go. Jump up on our little thing. Okay, I got him. I think I think that was four total so far. Get that arrow here because he's taking his time. Oh, that time he came up a little quicker. Jump up on this. Pow, pow, pow. Ah, I think we need two more shots on him, guys. Two more shots. Dude, these worms are nasty. Oh, don't sit there. Ah, oh, see? Ah, you see, I shot my deck. That's kind of funny. All right. Got him again. We ain't afraid of no worms. All right. Get our arrows back. Wherever the hell they all ended up. Uh... Where are they? Arrow. There we go. Arrow. 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 So, I, I think that the earthquake does signify a worm coming out. Now, that's like a plate. You know, I, and I'm, I'm honestly... Oh, check that out. That's kind of cool. I'm honestly thinking that it's going to be better to stay with... the. St oh, jump, jump, jump. You see that? He tried to get me. Damn scorpion. Um, I think it's going to be better to stay with, um, all right, we already did that. I think we got everything else in here, guys. It's going to be better to stay with the, uh, stuff that cools you down more than the armor, because I'm never going to tank those things. I will always use a bow. All right, uh, we came in straight. Let's go this direction. And honestly, guys, this could be, this could be bad. All right, we have got to find some kind of... Oasis, either one of our old ones or a new one. All right, let's crest that little berm there, and we'll see what we get. Now, anybody out there now glad that I thought to remember to bring planks and stuff? I probably should craft a couple more, shouldn't I? You know what? You make a good point. <laughs> there we go. Just in case, since we're running and crafting anyway. Inventory's full. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, what do I have I can eat? Let's eat the bananas. Consume, consume, consume. I hate to do that, but... Uh, yeah, let's get our planks. Put it this way. I'd rather have fewer bananas and more ability to build a platform if one of those things comes back again. That was bad. But the key is being off the ground. Now, and there was nowhere in there I could get off the ground. That was the biggest problem. I mean, I guess I could have jumped up on the treasure chest, but I doubt that would have done anything. Oh, guys, this is not looking good. Uh, the highest berm I see is that one, so let's go to that one. Now, if our, if our, our, when we came in here, if I can remember what direction we went, the pyramid should be right over there, so we're still kind of making a big circle around it, which would mean that we're coming up on or close to our original base. Maybe. <laughs> oh, man. This is desolate. All right. All I can tell you is that we need a camel. We need a camel for sure. Like, for sure, for sure. All right. Let's 
Get up on this little berm, cross our fingers, we see something. I'm with you, dude. I think I ought to be able to eat those, 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 whatever they are. You can eat insects. Why can't I eat those? Oh, dude, nothing. Ah, all right. That one's higher. Let's cross our fingers on that one. You notice how the, the ground is like red over there? I do want to explore that, but not yet. Not till we are properly equipped to do so. All right. Running up the side of the mountain here. And I'm sorry, guys, if this episode's going to run a little longer than normal, but I wanted to give you guys something to hold you. Ooh, what do we got? Oh, oh, that's our original little um, uh, cave one. I'm down because we didn't build a marker at that one last time. And as I recall, there were a couple dead trees, so we should be able to get enough logs to build one. All right. And hopefully, we're going to see if it respawns. We should have more of the hyenas. So I get me some more hyena meat. And mark where we are so I know what direction to go. And I, I wish there was a way to keep the markers from disappearing on us, guys, because that is a real pain in the butt. All right, well, looks. Oh, yeah, look, it all respawned. That's what I want to hear, which means that we should have some of our hyenas. Wait a minute, guys, is that the. That's not the same oasis. <gasps> I see a camel. Oh, we are getting a camel. I am not waiting unless there's a hyena. All right, I'm getting a camel right now. I hear bugs. Mosquitoes using a torch or camp. Oh, great. I got to build a campfire. All right, let's uh, let's build a campfire real quick. Do we have it? Yeah, we do. Now, do we have the room? That's the real question. And we do not. So, we'll throw down our spare axe. We'll craft us a campfire. I hate to do that. Oh, man, there's all kinds of good stuff here. All kinds of good stuff. And we'll put our pick up here. I don't think we're going to need that right away. Alright, so we got our campfire. We'll put it down right here. And let's open it up. Let's put on a few logs. There we go. Oh, god dang it. No! Ah! I hate when I do that. Alright, there we go. That should drive them all away. Alright, now let's go feed us a camel. Where's that camel? Oh, camel. There's one. Look at that. He's standing there waiting for us. I shall feed thee, camel. Alright, camel is fed. Oh, I don't want to pick that up. All right, so I don't know what to do next to get the camel. I guess we just need to wait a second. But in the interim, let's get uh, some more logs and get a shelter built here. This is a new oasis, guys. We have not been to this one before. And I do see some water over there. It's not a lot, but it is some. Come on, give us six. There we go. Got some prawns in the way there. There we go. Get some fronds. I'll tell you, this is a resource game, guys. You need to get re everywhere you are. Never stop looking for resources. All right, where's the camel I fed? Was it you I fed? Yeah, it was you I fed. So I need to wait for you to get hungry again. And then we'll feed you. I'm not going to feed you right now because I'm already feeding another one. All right. All right, sticks and stems. So we're, we're full on stems. I think what we need to do... Or we're full on stick. We're full on one of them. But we need more logs. So let's um, let's start building ourselves a little house here. Uh, scorpion, I tell you. They are pretty. I'm not going to lie. They're kind of cool looking. Well, we got lots of stones. Thank God. All right. Let's go ahead and let's build ourselves a couple platforms here, shall we? And it's not going to let us build right on the water, which is where I want to. Uh, can I build over here by our fire, maybe? Maybe this area? All right, now we're talking. There we go. Two logs and two planks, but we're going to be able to build right where I wanted to, so that's good. All right, so let's cut us down some more trees. 
And yes, for those wondering, we will keep the coconuts off this one, and we'll just store them. All right, because we can always throw the coconuts down and cut them if we need food. But if we don't need food and we need the water, we can drink them. So we're going to keep the coconuts. All right. There's another coconut. All right. So the goal here, um, we want to, this is just, it's another shelter for us, guys. We need to keep building these shelters. Um, this one, once we find out where we're actually at on the map, we might actually use this as a base of operations. And if we do, this is where we're going to build our mortar with our clay bricks and all that. So this might end up being our real shelter. Because I kind of like the fact that you've got that guarding over there on the edge there. And I definitely like the fact that you've got camels. Speaking of which, I need to go see if he wants to be fed again. Here, come here, coconut. I don't know how many times you got to feed him to make him your buddy. But whatever it is, he's getting fed. All right. Where's the frond? Oh, there's a log. There's the frond. All right. The other thing is you got to be real careful in areas like this, guys. It's getting dark. And to top that off, uh, those scorpions are hard to see. All right. Let's go feed our cam our pet camel over here again, if he's hungry yet. You hungry yet? You hungry, bud? Yes, you are. All right, camel is fed. Good camel. Don't you go wandering off, because we're going to use you. All right, just go ahead and drink. Fill up both of our water bottles. There we go. Ooh. Ah, that we needed bad, guys. We definitely needed that. Um, what can we make with that four cloth? Wasn't there something we could make? Aha, you can craft a shirt. Ha, we are crafting a shirt. That means more sun coverage and it means more cold protection. This is huge, guys. Okay. Uh, if I'd known that, we'd have done it a long time ago. All right, so we're going to get rid of this shirt. What we'll do is we'll break this shirt down. So we're going to switch this shirt. Now, let's see what we get. So we went up uh, a lot in sun protection and about 10% in defense. And we can dismantle that for more cloth. All right. Hey, that worked out pretty well. Okay, let's go ahead and focus on what we were doing. Let's get some logs here. How's our inventory doing? Uh, there's some stems. Can we pick those up yet? No, we cannot. Let's see. That is the cooked meat. Let's consume that. And we'll get our stems. Now, we are going to have to worry about food, sort of. We have a lot of different fruits, so I'm not overly concerned about that. But I do want to get the rest of our base built up. So, let's get this all chopped up here. I just know I'm going to walk across a scorpion here in a minute. I just know it. Golly, inventory full. I must have a lot of those. I have to look. And there are some pretty cool looking plants here too. We're gonna have to check those out. All right. Ah, timber. All right. Get those. Get the dates. Get the fronds. And then we'll go back to building our little base over there. And get it ready to go. Yeah. Oh, look here. More hemp. All right, we're gonna need that. All right, so let's get our little base going here. And I think what we're going to do, we're going to, yeah, let's break down our campfire because it's all, it's all rocks anyway. Oh, I have stuff inside of it. What do I have inside of it? Oh, coal. Yeah, okay. Charcoal. I don't know what the charcoal's for, guys, but we're going to find out. All right, let's get the sticks. Can't get the stones. Can't get the stuff. Okay, so we're going to do that in a minute. So let's go up here. Let's continue our building. And hopefully it will let us build this direction. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. If it doesn't like our direction, eh, that's what I thought. Ah, crap, guys. We're going to have to... Well, that's terrible. You know what? We didn't want to build this in anything major anyway, did we? So let's just um, let's put some walls up, some generic walls. We'll put a door right here. We're going to put a wall, a little window wall here, here, here. We'll put up one roof. 
This will be our what we'll call our tiny house. We need three wooden planks. We need to craft some planks. Two, three, and craft them. All right, once those are crafted, we'll put our little roof up. That'll at least give us some shelter. We'll put a fire in here, and we might throw a bed in so at least we have a place to, to hang out. And then the next stage is going to be, if we want to use this as an actual base of operations. Oh, come on, come on. There it is. How many plates do I have? I should have three. Did I throw them on the ground? Yes. <laughs> oh, guys, I'll tell you. All right, we'll throw our little axe on the ground. I hate to do that, but... Let's craft our roof. And get it up on the top here. There we go, and bam. All right, we need a door. And I don't know if we're going to have enough planks for that. I have to probably make some planks. Nope, we did. All right, let's go ahead and build our campfire right here. Craft that. And move this into here, because I want that to go onto the hot bar down here. It'll make things a whole lot easier. What is that? That's raw hemp. Uh, I, oh, getting a little chilly, are we? All right, all right, all right. We're going to fix that problem. Just calm, you, calm yourself. All right, and let's put us some logs on the fire. Actually, yeah, we'll put some logs on there. Put us some logs on the fire. All right, now we're going to get real warm real quick. All right. Uh, I'm going to drop. I really don't want to do that. What I want to do is build that forge. Can we build the forge yet? Oh, you can. The furnace makes... Clay ore. Okay, let's craft that. Oh, this will be interesting, guys. It's going to be really tight in here, but maybe I can put it outside. Well, no, I don't want to do that. It's going to get destroyed when the sandstorm comes. Let's see what this looks like. I am actually extremely curious to see what this looks like. I did not expect to be able to make that. That was kind of a surprise. But if this lets us make bricks then we might actually be able to get rid of the ore in our inventory and go all out with bricks. There it is. Oh, man, that thing is huge, guys. Oh, that's way too big. Oh, that's horrible. All right. Uh, oh, we can put it on our, oh, we can put it on our little dock here. Okay. Ooh. All right, what can we do here? We put in the ore, and we put in some fuel... And away it goes. Oh, man, that thing generates heat, guys. I like that. All right. Now, okay, check it out. Now we're smithing stuff. This is great. All right, so I'm thinking what we'll do, we'll keep bricks on us. How many, I wonder how much it takes to make a, let's see what it takes to make a brick foundation. I don't have that thing yet. Hmm. That's a real problem. So I can't make anything with the bricks yet. But it does appear... Oh, and it's smelting quick, guys. Why I say smelting. All right, well, let's let that go ahead and do its thing. Let's get some more wood going because we are going to need it. Oh, we got to go feed our, our camel. Where's our camel? Oh, camel, where did you go? There he is. You ain't getting away. Get your butt back here, boy. Oh, camel. Don't make me chop you with my axe. I took a big old crap. I follow the big things of camel crap everywhere. All right, now do we feed R to give him some food? Camel is fed. All right, well, now what? Yeah, go back down there, dude. Come on. Oh, that's a cool looking guy. Look at that. That's awesome. And, you know, we still haven't really explored all around this thing yet, so this is going to be a... A whole new area for us. Still, that's really neat. I like that furnace. That 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 the way that looks is cool. And I wish I knew how to know when the camel's hungry. It's not it doesn't tell you. So I guess it's kind of a crapshoot. Oh, four degrees. I better go in there and get warm. Hold on a minute. 
When it does that, huh, that means you lost a little bit of life. We don't want that. All right, so let's do this. Let's go ahead. We'll get this on here. Once we've got the um, axes broken, that's okay. I have a spare axe. I put it in here. Where did I put the spare axe? I thought I threw it on the ground in here, didn't I? Or did I pick it up again? Oh, uh, oh no, I guess I didn't. All right, fine. We'll craft us an axe. Tools and for an axe we need two sticks. Why don't I have sticks? Oh, I know why I don't have sticks because they're all in this furnace. Ha! Ah. And they're about to get pulled out anyway. So hold on one second here. Put that up there. Let that finish crafting and bam! Now we got bricks. Okay. Pull our sticks out. Now we can craft ourselves our axe. And bam. Guys, this is looking really good. I like what we got going here. This is a good little base of operations. Uh, we're going to need a shelter, which we'll have to build out here. That's okay, though. Let's craft our shelter. Because I don't think we can fit a bed in there. That's pretty, that's pretty tight in here. <laughs> All right. Go down here and get us a drink of water real quick. There we go. And tomorrow the plan will be to explore a little bit. And we're going to need those desert fruits. And there were two of them that I saw, so we're going to get the other one tomorrow. All right. Let's lay our shelter out here. Save our game. There we go. And we'll probably sleep in just a second once I'm sure everything is good. All right. We are good. Guys, again, another successful run. We managed to get all the way up here into a totally new area. Uh, we managed to get another shelter built. We've got another, a, a totally different one. In fact, you know what we ought to do before I close this out? We ought to see if we've got the stuff. I need six logs. And all of our logs are in the fire. So hold on a minute. I think I can. We'll swap these out. Let's, uh, let's swap these for these. There we go. Now we should be able to craft our turret. There we go. And this will tell us where we are on the map, because I know we're all kind of curious about that. So you can see one and two. We were kind of making a little loop up around to the west there. Um, I kind of personally think that we're a little to the southwest, but we're not going to know that till we put this thing up, which we're going to do right now. There we go. I have no idea which way that's facing. Oh, yeah, guys, look where we are. We are all the way to the west. So almost at the edge of the map to the west. That might explain that red dirt. So, all right, let's put an oasis there. Bam, there we go. And we will put a marker down. If I've got the stuff to make a marker, I need a couple more sticks. What do you need, sticks and sticks and logs? Is that what it was? Stick and cordage, oh, okay. And let's go ahead and we will open this up. We will take our sticks out, quit burning them. <laughs> and we will craft ourselves a marker. Now, this will tell us what direction we're facing. Uh, honestly, guys, I think that is the way we need to go. So let me... Let's put this thing right here. Now, which way is that? That pointed south. Okay. So, yeah. If we go straight south and kind of southeast, we've made that loop. North is where that little cut was that went through the, um, uh, through the mountains. I do want to go through that cut. That's there for a reason. I guarantee it. Um, and we may venture out there and do it once we get the camel tame. Now, let me see if the camel is hungry again. And if he is, I will go ahead and feed him again. Uh, if he didn't go running off. Please don't run off, camel. Come on. Oh, this is stupid, guys. Come on, camel. Go up this little hill here. See if we can actually see our camel. Uh, can't tell if that's... No, if that's a camel or if that's just weeds. Are you serious? Our camel ran off again? After all the food I gave him. Ugh. No friggin' loyalty, I tell you. Just can't trust camels these days. Hashtag never trust a camel. 
Yeah, I don't think we're gonna find it, guys. I think we're gonna have to, uh... Assuming these things respawn, we're just gonna have to come back, go to another camp, and then come back here and try to get us a camel. Because obviously these things, you gotta be on them like crazy when you feed them. So that's probably what we're gonna do. All right, well, he's definitely taking a hiatus somewhere. Yep. All right. Well, that will be our plan then. So we're going to go in here. We're going to save. Got a nice little mortar going on here, which is pretty cool. We'll save our game right here. There we go. R to save. And we will sleep. And that, guys, is where we're going to wrap this episode. I, I want to thank you all for watching. Once again... A wonderful game. What do you do, moons in the sky? Tell me what you do, silent moons. You rise in the evening and go contemplating the deserts. Then you rest still. You're not content to be brightening the sim simpertinal runes. Still, you're not tired. Still, you wish to admire those dunes. It resembles your life, the life of he who survives. Is that us? He who survives? Probably so. All right. We'll save it one more time. That way we don't have to come back to it. And there we go. Well, guys, thanks again for watching. I will see you guys when I get back. Uh, don't forget to give Paul a whole lot of trouble when he's on his podcast next Tuesday. No mercy. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.